talking out of my ass. Number 72. And this is my 72nd talking from my anus. That, that dank wasteland of putrescence. Vomit is vomit is fucking bile spewing forth from my anus. I'm talking out of that fucking thing. Alright, so uh let's talk about the pyramids. I don't know if you've been listening to this podcast in any length, but uh, I've been surmising that the pyramids were built by aliens, but then it totally that totally ignores the fact that some uh, monolithic structures have religious aspects to them, such as in India, where they're praising Vishnu or some other fucking god. And gods are purely human creations. So those pyramid, those monolithic structures, structures in India, Kuala Lumpur. The fucking, uh, uh, it's like, it's like a fucking temple carved out of the side of a fucking mountain and shit. You know, everything's plumb and level, you know, columns and rooms and fucking like, you know, 30 by 50 feet rooms carved into the side of a mountain and the fucking, the roof and the floor are exactly plumb and level. With laser guided, with like laser guided precision, you know. And there's uh, usually like uh, gods and shit, the Indian gods that are fucking uh, statue form or strewn about the fucking uh, landscape of the fucking uh, Kuala Lumpur or whatever the fuck it's called. So there you have, like, you know, like I said. That human touch to it. So humans must have built that shit, right? But here's the problem I have with all this monolithic bullshit, right? Especially in Egypt. In Egypt, you got 12 ton, 16 ton stones, two of them sitting next to each other that are exactly plumb and level, and they have about one one thousandth clearance of an inch. Now the mind, the mind that actually takes to build something like that, not only is it intelli- intelligent, but is painstakingly attentive to detail. That is like being anal, being like anally retentive to the fucking one hundred millionth exponentialized fucking factor of ten, you know, to the factor of fucking one million and one hundred thousand or whatever. That is some, some extreme anal retentiveness, attention to detail. To construct that kind of fucking shit, right? Not only is he an extreme attention to detail, it's also painstakingly hard. Like, you don't achieve that level of accuracy, you know, on a whim. You have to go through, like, different protocols, and you have to, you know, line everything up pretty much. And I don't know how they did that, but whatever. It wasn't easy for them, because otherwise there'd be fucking pyramids from end to end all over the fucking earth. They only built, they only built like, you know, a couple dozen, right? A dozen or so, right? The pyramids and uh, whatever, these other monolithic structures, Easter Island, they had the fucking, they had those heads, those 25-ton stone heads, you know? So it wasn't easy for them. Otherwise, Easter Island would be fucking full of those fucking, those heads, So the degree of difficulty was very hard. Anyways, they went through all that bullshit, right? You know? That's a lot of shit to go through. There's a lot of shit to put yourself through. Just to create something for the gods or whatever. Whatever they fucking use it for. That's a lot of shit to have to go through to build a monolithic structure. Like, you just don't up up in one day go, uh, Well, I guess I finished that. Next. No. You don't do that. 
you don't put that kind of painstaking attention to detail into just something you're going to blow off, you know, a couple decades down the road. Like it's no big deal. It ain't like, you know, it ain't like you're, you're renting a one studio, like a studio apartment. And you're going, hey, I'm sick of this fucking place. Ah, next. Ain't none of that. The mind. Now, I mean. So. Now, they might, the people who built those. They might have just left the earth and said, fuck it, right? The other theory is somebody came down here and killed them all off. I mean, why why, why, why isn't there, you know, pyramids still being built? If those people who survived, who, who have, you know, who have ancestors who built the pyramids, why aren't they building pyramids? That knowledge would have been passed down from generation to generation, right? Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't go like, you know, hey, uh, I'm sick of this fucking place. Uh, see ya. Yeah, you don't, you don't do that. Otherwise, unless, unless something killed you off. Something extinguished you. Because obviously, if those people who built those pyramids or whatever, they'd still be around. They'd be, you know, if they weren't, they would still be making pyramids. Am I right? Is that fucking incorrect to assume? They'd still be making monolithic structures with 12 ton, 16, 20 ton stones. They would still be doing that. But there, there's not. There hasn't been, been a, a pyramid built in whatever. How many fucking thousands of millennia? So where'd they all go? I mean, if you notice all those monolithic structures, they were built, you know, B.C. 5,000, 7,000 B.C., whatever, 3,000 B.C. Some, some, some say the pyramids for, were built like 50,000 B.C. And then there's that uh, abrupt drop off. No more pyramid building. Dark ages. You know, bubonic plague. You know, that kind of thought. So, how does mankind go from pyramid building to dark ages? That's the question. How does mankind go from uh, Kuala Lumpur to, uh, you know, thinking that, uh, that uh, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever, they, whatever, whatever kind of stupid shit they thought in the dark ages, you know? How, do, how does mankind go from you know, uh, whatever, living off, you know, from pyramid building, it, 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 it regressed. It went from pyramid building to living off fucking like, uh, you know, doing hunt, hunting, gathering, hunting, hunter gathering shit. It doesn't make any sense. So whoever those humans that built, they're not around. Whoever those humans who built those fucking monolith, they're not around. Where'd they go? Or he'll, or the better question is, I think the more logical question is, who killed them all off? It couldn't have been like, you know, the hunter-gatherer fucking humans. Because that would have been, I don't know. It doesn't even seem right, you know. These people who built the pyramids, they had fucking like power tools and shit. Uh, Laser-guided alignment tools and shit. I'm sure they had technology to kill fucking, you know, some meager little fucking hunter-gatherer piece of shit. Walking up to him, talking shit, right? So, 
So, yeah. Who killed those fuckers off? That's what I'm thinking. I mean, they could have built a space rock and went somewhere else. But why would they do that after they just went through that painstaking amount of detail? To set, you know, 20 ton stones right next to each other. Exactly plumb and level. You know, maybe off by, you know, a percentage of one degree. And about one one thousand clearance, clearance of an inch. Like, you just don't up and leave that shit. You just don't go, well, I'm sick of this shit. Next. And then go, okay, see ya. You don't just, you just don't leave shit like that behind. After you went through, after you, after you put yourself through all that kind of bullshit. Setting up the 12 ton stones, carrying them across fucking whatever. Miles upon miles. A fucking, uh. whatever, of transporting the stones. So something killed them off. That's my theory. And uh, the dinosaurs were killed off. The pyramid building motherfuckers were, were killed off. So maybe we're next. Maybe we're next to be killed off. Just a theory. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah, who knows? We're maybe, maybe maybe we're next on the chopping block. I mean, because, you know, whatever took out those pyramid building motherfuckers, they did it very thoroughly. Because you don't see any more pyramids being built, like I said. So all those motherfuckers who built the pyramids and the megaliths and the fucking... Carving the saint or the temples into the fucking goddamn side of the fucking the mountain and shit. Yeah. They're all gone. Otherwise, they'd be building more of those. You know? It'd be a whole fucking earth full of that shit, right? But you don't see it. You just see that, and then there's that drop off of just nothingness. So all those motherfuckers are gone. And whatever took those fuckers out, they did it thoroughly. And that's the end of it. That's the dinosaurs were taken out. Why not them? Why not us next? I mean, that would seem like the logical conclusion. That that seems like the easiest conclusion. That they were taken out. Extinguished. They were made extinct. Like a like a a flame on a candle. Somebody just wet their fingers, put that flame right out, like it was nothing. Um. <clears throat> what else do I got? I'm trying to tackle calculus for some reason. I, I know why I'm doing. I'm trying to read. Uh. Bill Chen and uh, Arod's fucking uh, Mathematics of Poker. You ever pick up that book? Yeah, there's uh, there's derivatives, there's sigma notation, there's fucking arithmetic and geometric sequences, there's fucking a little bit of statistics in there, there's means and averages and variance and all that kind of shit. All that kind of shit that, that, that you study in statistics and calculus and shit. Yeah, they use that. They that they use that as a language to explain their theories. Or their ideas in that book. Mathematics of Poker by Bill Chen. And I don't know. I forgot the guy's the first name. But last name is Arod. A-R-R-O-D. Mathematics of Poker. Yeah, so I'm trying to do calculus, and um, I don't know, this uh, chick named Krista King on Udemy, she has uh, a three-course a three uh, progression, 
to learn calculus. She has a calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three. Of course, you have to be buy each class separately, whatever. But I want to say this: she's very, very thorough. Speaking of thoroughness, she's very thorough. That first calculus course is about almost. I think it's over 200 lectures. Second one, I'm, I haven't delved into that yet, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty fucking very thorough. Plenty of lectures there. What else? Here's something I learned from the streets recently. Say you're walking down the street, minding your own motherfucking business, right? And uh, somebody says something that you did something to so You did something to him or to them or to whoever. And they call the police and the police have no choice but to arrest you and put you in jail. Just because somebody said something about you without any proof, mind you. Without any proof, mind you, and uh, now you're in jail until you get your, uh, whatever, your bond or your fucking uh, trial, whatever. So, one way to combat that is, because, you know, fucking liars basically are cowards, you know. One, one way to combat is just to wear a body cam. You don't think it's right, but, you know, you think it's being overkill, but it, it's not. Because this fucking society, man, where, you know, where, where you saying something could get you in fucking, get you in trouble. Somebody said, somebody said you said something to them wrong. That could get you, that could get you in fucking trouble. So... Obviously, a body cam would, uh, you know, corroborate or uh, fucking uncorroborate their fucking stories, their lies, you know. Wait right, a minute. All right, man. I guess I, I'm done, man. Just want to say a little shit. I haven't said anything in for a while. Um, that'll conclude my what is it, 72nd talking out of my anus. Yeah, good luck. Whatever you're doing. Signing off.